to see the numbers of riders with this uh, for this cause this year. Um, you know, your your giving. It was said uh, last night briefly, but you're giving what's most important. Not only your support, but uh, what's most precious is your time. And that's what you're giving. So thanks, uh, thanks for Maureen and the and the Michael. And remember those who serve and those who have fallen. Maureen Eichenboom and your entire family, uh, we share this moment with Andrew this morning. We regret your loss and we support the legacy you have created, helping our soldiers help others. And we do this in Andrew's memory. It makes us all better persons to support what you have created and to share this moment. Thank you very much. Boomer was a, a medic, one of my medics. Um, he is uh, one of six, uh, sorry, one of eight medics that we have lost in Afghanistan. And that's uh, tragically one of uh, 156 so far. Um, I want to take this opportunity to thank Maureen and the Boomer Legacy team for keeping their legacy alive and the legacy of all those who have paid the ultimate sacrifice. And in fact, all those who have served and continue to serve in Afghanistan and places overseas to bring some basic human rights and necessities to, to those who are unfortunate. Tin Chuck, we uh, told him he only had eight minutes to speak. That's barely a warm up for him. I've heard him before. <laughs> so uh, I, I have a hook back here. <laughs> so does that mean my coin's worth a Tim bid or what? <laughs> <laughs> Minister Duncan. Uh, all, all of the mayors are here, Your Worship. Thanks so much. I mean, it is a huge sign of uh, great support that we have from, uh, from the communities up here, the fact that you're all out here for this ceremony. I'd like to thank uh, members of the Legion up here. You know what? All of these folks, wait a second now. <laughs> I'm the chief, wait. <laughs> but the fact is, all of us have incredibly successful careers. Everyone works so hard in their career. But sometimes we, we are absolute failures in retirement because people keep on serving. And here is a great illustration of incredible people who continue to serve. The fact they're out here today. Thank you so much for all you do for us in this community. I'd like to recognize Simon. Where's Simon? Hiding. <laughs> Simon has given me such an incredible Gucci bike, I think it's worth about the same cost of the first five of my cars put together for that darn bike there, and I, I'm like a slug, and yet they keep on going, slow down, slow down, slow down. I just want to say, Simon, thank you for your generosity for this incredible, incredible event. And I know I gave you a coin last time. I just want to say, please buy that Tim Hortons with it so I can get you another coin. Well done. Thank you for all you've done, Simon. I am worried. I am worried about every time I come out here and the weather is terrific. And so I think this is a plot. Because when I call out from Ottawa and I talk to these folks out here or squirm, I'll say, how's the weather? He said, the weather's awful. Just <laughs> terrible. <laughs> and so it's a plot to keep those folks from Ottawa away from this community. Yeah. <laughs> so darn it, I came back and checked on, on it myself. And you know what I found was an incredible, incredible group of folks with huge hearts. Huge hearts working with Maureen and Carl and the whole family here, because this is a family. It's a family event here in the presence of Boomer. But as we said with Maureen, his physical remains are there, but his spirit transcends this nation and wherever we are. And we're all here today in support of that spirit. It's a spirit of giving. <clears throat> it's a spirit of making a difference and enabling those young men and women who are serving Canada, whether that be in Afghanistan, or whether that be in Haiti, whether that be in Congo or Sudan, around the world, wherever they are, so that they can make a difference. And so that's why I just want to say thanks to all of you for enabling this incredible family to give. And so I, I just want to sum up here with just a small token of our appreciation to Maureen 
because I'd like to take this opportunity to present to her the highest award that the Canadian Forces can give to a civilian. And that is the Canadian Forces Medallion for Distinguished Service. And I'm just going to ask Maureen to come here in the middle. I'll ask the Canadian Forces Chief Warrant Officer, Chief, Warren, uh, Chief Petty Officer Bob Clarou, to read off the citation. Chief. Come on up here as well. In 2006, Mrs. Eichelboom created Boomer's Legacy, a charity to honor the memory of her son, Corporal Andrew Eichelboom, who was killed in Afghanistan. As of 2010, she has raised over $400,000 in support of the Assistance to Afghanistan Trust Fund, forming the foundation for the fund and comprising the majority of its operating budget. Mrs. Eichelboom's unrelenting efforts and unwavering dedication have been instrumental in the development of numerous initiatives that greatly benefit the population of Kandahar province. Maureen. about these citations, the citations pale. They pale because we cannot find the words of gratitude for the inspiration that you have both provided to all of us, to the Canadian Forces, but also the two of you provided those young men and women so they can make a difference in Andrew's name. God bless you. Thanks for all you've done. traffic again we can we can go to Shimanis. We're gonna stop there, we're gonna regroup so everybody's gotta be together. We're gonna then after that we got an RCMP bringing us to Duncan. Uh, just a couple kilometers before Duncan we're gonna Okay, smile. You're on video. How does it feel like being on Boomer Drive?